Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install a command line tool for Windows which is better than the native Windows command line tool which is called Commander. Now if you have uh, you know used command line tool on Windows ever it looks like this. So I am using Windows 8 and it looks like this. And if you are a developer uh, or uh, if you want to use uh, command line uh, for your work then um, using this command line tool is not uh, you know satisfactory I would say for example you are uh, building a node application and you need to run uh, node commands here and uh, this works fine but uh, for a developer they want more than uh, this kind of uh, boring command line tool now uh, you can say Windows 10 has already been there and their command line tool is little bit better but it's not so much uh, better that uh, we can love it for example. So let's see what command line tool I'm going to show you and let's see what's the difference between them. So what we are going to do is we are going to download and install a free command line tool which is called CMDER and we say it commander tool okay. So just type, type CMDER commander and the first link which will appear here will be commander.net right. So just click this link and this tool is free command line tool so you can use it for free. And in here you can see the first look of it uh, it will look like this and to download it you can uh, just uh, click this download button now there are two uh, you know versions of it one is the download mini version which is 6 megabyte and if you are interested in the whole functionality then you can you know download this 80 megabyte uh, download installable file okay so it's a zip file so it's not a, an installer it's a zip file so you just need to extract it and uh, you just need to uh, you know run the command line tool from there okay so let me uh, save this zip file and once this zip file will be downloaded it will take around one minute on my PC it can take more or less time depending upon the speed of your computer and once it's downloaded we will see how it works okay so now the download of this zip file is complete and I have already extracted uh, that zip file this zip file will uh, look like this so you just need to extract it in the folder of your choice okay after extracting it you will see this uh, executable file which says commander.exe you just need to double click it very simple stuff and I'm going to minimize everything and by the meantime it will start okay now here uh, you can see unlock and continue command and visit home page and exit and it says uh, that uh, some of the DLLs are missing you uh, don't need to worry about them you can just uh, say ignore and continue for now okay and then just uh, skip this version for now okay and now it will open this command line tool and you can see uh, when you uh, you know start this command line tool the difference between uh, these two command line tools right so you know when uh, at the time when you open it it will look like this very sleek and uh, you know you will love it from the first uh, step itself you can uh, you know follow or uh, execute any command view which you can uh, run on uh, windows and even which you can run on your uh, linux or unix uh, command line tool for example uh, ls minus uh, l and list all the uh, you know files and the permissions of your files and folders right or cd or mkdir or many command uh, line uh, uh, commands it can execute and uh, the best thing what i like about this command line tool is for example if you want to open two uh, command line uh, you know command line or command prompts 
what you need to do is you need to open the command prompt to uh, you know two terminals for uh, two command line uh, you know commands if you want to uh, run in parallel right for example in case of mongo you need to uh, run the mongo daemon in background and then you need to execute the mongo shell itself right and in that case you need to open two terminals at the same time and it's not uh, i mean very elegant in case of uh, commander what you need to do is you can just right click on this icon at the top and you can just say new console it will give you this option you can say start and it will start a new terminal you can see side by side right so you can navigate between them like this you just need to press these uh, tabs and you can uh, open multiple terminals like this on commander this is the feature which i like this uh, command line tool also comes with ssh so if you want to uh, you know uh, control a remote uh, pc or a linux operating system it will help you so just ssh and whatever is the ip address of your pc then you will be able to you know access this, that pc so you can see when i press uh, ssh and it gives me one bunch of the options right and uh, yeah so you can see you can uh, just use it and see if it's uh, good for you or you want to stick with the old command line tool it's on your uh, you know choice but i am uh, you know lately using this command line tool and i'm loving it so i wanted to share with you so that's it i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now